Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Pete Drexler from LetPetePlan at gmail.com, an agent for Boardwalk Travel Agency. And today we're talking about um, the Walt Disney World Value Resorts. Uh, first of all, we must kind of identify what is a value. Um, uh, some people would say it's the cheapest. Um, it's the least expensive. Um, others would say it's uh, what you get for your money is the value. Um, <clears throat> however, for Walt Disney World and um, our purposes today, we're going to look at value as being a, a one. Um, it is probably one of the cheapest. It is the cheapest um, way of staying in the bubble next to possibly staying at the campgrounds at Fort Wilderness. Um, but it is also um, the value for Walt Disney World, the value uh, category means that it is further away um, while still being in the bubble um, it is further away from uh, the parks, um, especially Magic Kingdom, um, and the transportation is fairly limited, um, especially when we talk about the first ones that we will talk about, which are the, the all-star resorts. And I'm um, looking at uh, the all-star sports. Uh, one, it is the cheapest per average room of any of the hotels uh, or resorts um, themed greatly by uh, what it says, the um, sports motif. It has uh, a pool with a surfboard motif, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, and the Food court is called the end zone food court, and um, it is heavily themed towards your thing. Now, uh, what we look at, what I'm going to look at here is um, some benefits. Uh, number one benefit is the cost. It is, I think, it roughly worked out to be less than $150 per night on average. Now, there are times when it's higher, uh, especially around Christmas and stuff. And then there's times when it's um, maybe even a little lower. I think at the lowest I've ever seen it was like $120 something a night. Um, I can't remember when that was. But All-Star Sports is definitely your value when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to price um, at Walt Disney World. Um, now these are per night, per room, um, you know, prices that I'm uh, quoting. Um, so now the both the all-star movies and the all-star um, music have a little different um, cost to them, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, and um, excuse me, um, I don't know if it's more because right now those are the ones that have been renovated recently. Um, I know with the all-star music, the average cost included uh, is that they do have some uh, suites. But first, next, I'm going to look at the all-star movies, uh, kind of get a down, download and uh, kind of a overview. Uh, it's, uh, it has a Fantasia-themed pool. Um, it does have uh, something called Movies Under the Stars. Uh, which is basically a, uh, uh, you can watch 
Disney movies um, nightly. Well, it says on select nights at the real spot. Real spelled R E E L. Um, and it's an outdoor uh, seating location for the world premiere food court. And yes, that's the name of their food court, the world premiere food court. Um, again, this is, uh, it says, imagine yourself sharing the spotlight with some of your favorite Disney friends as you headline your very own all-star adventure. Stay at a Disney resort hotel that salutes the legends of Disney films. Um, uh, again, themed very drastically, uh, the, the, um, Fantasia themed pool, of course, has Sorcerer Mickey, um, on it, um, and he's by, you know, there's lots of things there. Okay, now, now we go to the last of the All-Stars, we're going to be looking at, um, all-star music. Once I pull it up here, excuse me for my thing, I'm, uh, and all-star music is, uh, it does have the, um, family suites, um, a standard room, a preferred room, but it also has a family suite that will sleep up to six adults. Um, it has uh, views of the pool of, of the pool courtyard or parking areas, um, either one. Uh, it comes with one queen bed and two queen size pull down beds. So uh, that's where you're getting your um, family suites. Now these are not like the family suites at Art of Animation and we'll talk about those later. Okay. A um, few things about all of the, okay, and I'm going to get back and tell you a little bit more about All-Star Music, of course. Um, it's uh, got a guitar-shaped pool uh, in, in the intermission food court. Um, and it is, um, as I said, it also offers the family suites. Uh, Again, uh, it is for all the other rooms in any of the All Stars. Um, they only can have four people stay in them at a time, where uh, the suites can have six, um, and we'll uh, that makes it a little bit better option for those families that are more than. More, more than four um and actually ironically i don't know the, the the price differential but uh might not be a bad thing for if you have a family of four and the kids are getting older and bigger and have more junk um the suite might not be a bad idea um we'll talk about that again when we get to uh the art of animation okay now with that said um let's go on um, now, how do you get to the parks? Bus. Or ride share and, or drive your own. Um, you're not going to be able to park necessarily real close to your room, um, but um, it's still an option to go from place to place using your car. I, that's my preference. Um, in any resort I stay at, except for maybe if I'm staying on the boardwalk and I need to go to Epcot, um, or if I have a Skyliner access. And we'll talk about that again when we talk about Pop and the Art of Animation. Okay, now, when we talk about those two, now remember, the All-Stars are three separate, three separate resorts. Music, sports, and um, movies. Now we're going to be talking about 
areas that have different uh, resorts that have different areas, but they're all the same resort. And the first one we're going to talk about is the Pop Century. Um, and bring that up here. And uh, we will be looking at, they have uh, the different styles of rooms. They have a standard room, a preferred room, preferred room poolside, and a standard pool view. Uh, four adults. Uh, four adults, four adults, four adults. Um, so basically you're still saying four people in a room. Even if your kid's not an adult, even if you have a kid from three to nine, I think that it's still four. Now I think if you have someone who is younger than three or they are able to stay in your room um also not don't quote me on that though um but pop century um give you a quick overview uh they experience all the unforgettable fads of the 1950s through the 1990s from yo-yos to play-doh to rubik's cube to rollerblades uh, the resort hotel salutes the timeless fashions, catchphrases, toys, and dances that captivated the world. Um, it has a pool with water jets, uh, everything pop shopping and dining. And um, the one thing that it has that the All-Stars don't, Skyliner transportation. Now... The Skyliner can take you to Epcot or Disney's Hollywood Studios or other uh, resorts in on, on the Skyliner routes. Um, this makes this value, even though it's not as cheap as the All-Stars, I think this makes it a better value. And, I, and if I'm hazard to guess, if, if I'm talking about value, and I haven't talked about art of animation too much yet, this is the best value for a family of four. Um, maybe even, unless you're a camper, <laughs> I mean, or, or camp. Um, then you're looking at the uh, at Fort Wilderness. But for staying in a room, family of four, um, this hotel probably gives you the best bang for your buck. Um, you're close to the Skyliner. Um, uh, and uh, it's right on, um, I think, Hourglass Lake. Uh, and it is shared uh, kind of with art of animation. Um, but again, cost wise, I would think it now, as I said, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. So, um, if you were born in one of those decades, or if you grew up in one of those decades, um, a lot of the the things that you will come across are, are very nostalgic towards you. Um, CD, well, not CD, but uh, compact, uh, wait a minute, <laughs> CDs and compact discs, same thing, Pete. Um, eight tracks, um, cassettes, uh, Walkman, uh, the Mickey phone, uh, <laughs> Uh, some of the some of the Disney animation uh, that came out came out during that time, uh, Lady and the Tramp, uh, the Jungle Book, um, and all those things. It, they have dedicated areas for that. Um, it's really cool, really cool. Um, big Wheel. There's there's a huge Big Wheel, and if you you're you're good. I don't want to sound sexist, but if you're a guy and, and you grew up in the um, late 60s, early 70s, you remember the big wheel, okay? And uh, you wanted one, and you were jealous of your neighbor who had one. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Um, 
Now that leads us to probably the newest of the value resorts, uh, opened in 2012, I think it was. Um, it is um, the Art of Animation um, resort on the other part of Hourglass Lake. Um, now, uh, we looking at room styles. You have the Little Mermaid standard room, and it is views um, of the courtyard, the pool, or parking areas. And it comes with either one king bed or two queen beds, and it can sleep up to four adults. And then we get into the suites, and we have. Um, the Finding Nemo Family Suites. You have the Cars Family Suites. Um, and you have the Lion King Family Suites. And each of these has a one, uh, well, it has a one queen bed, a one double-sized sleeper sofa, and a double-sized table bed. Um, it is basically a double-sized thing that comes down on your table and you fold it back up during the day so you have a table to eat on and all that fun stuff. So, it's really cool. Uh, Pop Century, I think, has something like that also. Um, however, they still only have four. Have four. Um, as I said, you have the Finding Nemo, the Car Suites, and the Lion King Suites, and then kind of a generic suites, it looks like. Um, uh, well, the, no, it's just a, it talks about just all the suites in general, um, on the website. Um, we, my family and I have stayed here, um, back in 2013. So I know that the car, the, the, and we, we had visited there, I think in the, our 2012 thing, we went around and stuff. Um, so we then said, hey, let's stay there because my son, uh, my youngest son really loves cars and we ended up staying in the Cars Family Suite. Now, cost-wise, uh, not as, well, it was the only one really that could house us except for maybe, because I don't think the um, All-Star Movies had their family suites yet. So for value for value resorts, it was that. However, um, we had stayed in the cabins before at Fort Wilderness, and the costs were very similar. Um, the value was not. Uh, I definitely enjoy um, staying at the cabins um, in Fort Wilderness compared to staying at the Art of Animation. Not because I didn't like the art of animation, but just because I really like the cabins at Fort Wilderness. And I will tell you, um, I am not the only one who's a little bit upset that they are going to create, make those into uh, DVC properties. Um, congratulations to the DVC owners, um, members, um, because those are nice. And if they're going to upgrade them, they're going to be even nicer. Um, but this is not a moderate uh, resort thing. This is a this is a uh, value um, resort thing. Now, um, the the um, other things about the animation art of animation is you have, of course, the family of sweets, the landscape of flavors. Um, it is uh, it is probably one, considered one of the best um, quick service areas uh, in any of the resorts uh, in Walt Disney World. Um, it has the largest resort pool in Walt Disney World Resort, and it says, uh, take the plunge in the world's largest resort pool in Walt Disney World. Um, 
it is the big blue pool and it expired it's inspired by the disney and pixar movie finding nemo finding nemo excuse me and you will also find an interactive water play area perfect for little ones okay there are also two more pools the cozy cone pool and uh the flippin fins pool um featuring the under the sea orchestra conducted by sebastian from the little mermaid so um those are um some of the 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 uh things that you can enjoy there also um of course we talked about the skyliner uh it is there now the art of animation is also a place where you which is a dog friendly accommodation it says bring your pampered pooch to stay with you at our disney's art of animation project um it will probably increase your uh it notes limit two dogs per room restrictions and fees apply um but it is one of the few areas in walt disney world where you can go now walt disney world does have other places where you can keep keep your pets but this is one the this is the only one in the value resorts now um there's usually rules about keeping uh, about about your pets being uh can't be staying in the room by themselves um type thing um there's probably designated areas of where you can walk your dog um so that's that now all these things that i've talked to you about um uh, we can discuss uh when you want to plan your next walt disney world um or universal orlando um vacation um and remember i'm an agent with boardwalk travel agency and i am a graduate and i have visual proof um of the college of knowledge of disney knowledge um and i uh did that back in way back in 2022 <laughs> um and that's one of the requirements for being a uh, disney um, travel agent um I shouldn't call me a Disney travel agent. I'm a travel agent for Boardwalk, but we do deal with um, Disney properties um, and vacations. So uh, if you need to contact me, contact me at let Pete plan, all one word, lowercase, at gmail.com. And again let's recap transportation not always the best um, unless you're staying at art and um pop and then you have the skyliner option compared to uh, all the all-stars that only have the bus option um good food courts um possibly one of the best in the art of animation uh and then you have um very well themed resorts again um, let pete plan at gmail.com have a magical rest of your day goodbye